As the opioid problem spreads across our nation and that crisis reaches our backyard, we are seeing different issues happening within that crisis right here at home. Joining us now, the owner of Cornerstone Pharmacy, Dr. Jim Graham. Thank you so much for being here, sir. Good to be here, Dean. And uh, I know in Bella Vista, you're right there next to Missouri. And one of the biggest issues when it comes to prescription drugs, and we've talked about this, is that Missouri doesn't actually track their prescription drugs, their opiates. Yeah, it is a challenge because we are uh, obligated by the State Board of Pharmacy and the DEA to control the flow of uh, prescription narcotics. And uh, through the prescription monitoring program, we can monitor our, our own citizens in Arkansas. We also have all the other bordering states with the exception of Missouri. When it comes to Missouri, we can't see the patients from McDonald County or Joplin or any of those places up there. Uh, we have no known history for them. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we rely on calling the doctors, but if they're going to multiple doctors, that's very difficult to do. And I guess it's a lot different than what we do in Arkansas. So how are opiates tracked in Arkansas specifically? Well, the, both the doctor and the pharmacist are required to, uh, are, are obligated to make sure that we control this for the safety of the patient, for the safety of the other citizens. So both the, the prescribers and the pharmacists can use the monitoring system to see which doctors they're going to, which prescriptions, all controlled substances, not just opioids, and when they've got them last, how they're using them. Uh, it allows a point of contact for patient care. The doctor sees it and says, oh, hold it, you've, you just went to the dentist and you got this and we don't need to give you that on top of that. So uh, pharmacists do the same thing. Wow, okay, so when it comes to parents, uh, we've seen, uh, we've had people in who tell us there's, we're seeing an increase in teens abusing these prescription drugs. What can parents do to ensure that their child, if they are prescribed these drugs, uh, are using them correctly? Well, anytime a, a, a young patient, particularly who is a minor, is getting these prescriptions, the parents should be uh, intimately involved in dispensing them. They should uh, follow the directions specifically, lock them up, and the worst place you can put them is in the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah. which a lot of people do. They store their meds in the medicine cabinet. You allow a guest or your child to go in the bathroom, shut the door, you don't know that they're taking the pills out. So pills should be kept in a secure place that the parents have access to. Second, be aware of symptoms. Um, drowsiness, uh, slurred speech, just failure of cognitive function, just not being there mm -hmm. uh, is one of them. And in, in a severe overdose, then difficulty breathing, difficult talking, that's an emergency situation. And I guess one of the most interesting things about this is that a lot of people, when they hear about the opioid crisis, they think of, of uh, you know, heroin and things of that nature, drugs that you get on the streets, but a, a lot of times it does stem from these prescription drugs that are just being abused. Uh, and I know that people like you are working hard to make sure that that uh, comes to a stop. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really important. And let me just, uh, you know, to my customers in Bella Vista, we have a lot of grandparents up there and they have the kids come in and they have pain medicines because they had a knee replacement, hip replacement. And they don't think about those things. They need to be locked up and, and out of sight, out of mind. Okay. So. Well, Dr. Jim Graham, thank you so much for being here. We Good appreciate it. All right. Thank and you. if you have an idea for Sunday sit down, please send me a comment on Facebook. You can find me at 4029 Daniel Arnbruster.